Hi guys, let's have a look at my Affinity Solution. One Mac Mini, the M2 model, just came out a couple of weeks back, probably a week ago, 2023. It's got 24 gig of RAM and a 2 terabyte SSD drive, very fast. It's got two monitors, the one I'm on now, and let me turn to the side here slightly and see if I can display the other one. There's the other monitor. But we'll go back to the first one for the moment. And we're on this one. Now what I can do on here, this is so nice. What I can do is I can run Affinity Publisher. And you can see Affinity Publisher there. Isn't that nice? We'll just um, cancel that. That's sitting there ready to go. There's all sorts of things I can do on there. Affinity Publisher, we can use Affinity Designer if I just want to use that on its own. Remember with Affinity Publisher, you can use Publisher, you can use all three from within Publisher. And there is your Affinity Designer. Now, what if I want to use Affinity Photo? Affinity Photo is there too. No problems at all. And that's all on the Mac. Now, I've got a similar setup for the um, iPad Mini 6 that I've got. I've got all three apps on that. Publisher, Designer and Photo. And you might think, oh, I'm missing one. But oh, no, I'm not. Because I also have Windows 11 running on this. And it runs in parallels. Oh, I would like to control this computer using accessibility options. Open system settings and say... Yes, Parallels Desktop, there it is there, type in, and you can see how recent this is. Oh look, I've even got World of Warcraft, let's, let's turn World of Warcraft on while I'm there. Job done, okay, ready to go. Now what have we got on here? This is Windows 11, mind you, I've got Windows 11, I've got the Mac version and the Windows 11 version. Let's open it up. And there's Affinity Designer. Now that's sitting there. Because it's on running on parallels, it's just a fraction slower than, uh, there it is, than it would be, I mean, I started this out on a Toshiba laptop. There we go. Perfect. No, I don't disclose all that. That's just too much. Affinity Publisher, you can do the same thing. So whatever I can do on the Mac over here, I can also do. I can never work out the difference between the Mac and the Windows. I keep forgetting whether it's two clicks or one. Sometimes it seems to be one, sometimes it seems to be two. But there it is. There's that one. Affinity photo. No, we'll close that. Don't want to mess with that. And that's of course I... Affinity photo. There we go, they're both open there. There's that one, and there's that one, and there's Publisher. Isn't that nice? Now, the good thing about that is, of course, with my YouTube channel, I'm doing these in... Now, that was one click. I've just got to be patient. There we go. It's just that the Windows... Parallels is just a little bit slower than the Mac. Well, it's a lot slower than the Mac, actually. Close that there. Minimise that. And you can see they're all there whenever I want them. That one there, that one there. And there's all sorts of other apps on there. There's Steam, Microsoft Edge, the Mac files, because I can access the files on the Mac from Windows 11. So let's just close that baby down. Close that baby down. Close that baby down and I'll go back up to the controlling device, the actions and suspend that. 
so the windows are suspended. I could shut it down if I want to, but I'll just leave it sit down the bottom. And if I want to move one over to the other side, to the other display, let me turn on the other display and turn this one off. And you can see I've just moved that over to there. Now I may be working on the main screen and I want those ones over there. So I'm just leaving Publisher on the main screen over there. Close that one down. Well, not closed. It's minimized. It's minimized. And there we have the clean screen over there. Operational, just the same as the other one. Bring up OBS again and switch it back to the main screen. And now we're back over here. It's lovely having two screens. Now I can't show you the, the uh, iPad mini working without I go to the iPad mini. And I'll do that in a separate, um, in, the in the next part of this video. But that's very nice. That's how it all works together on the M2 and it's blazingly fast. So let's close that down. You can see they're all open there. Infinity Photo 2. Close it down. Affinity Designer. And these are popping up in the second monitor because that's where I dragged them to, remember? Windows 11, well, that's that's shut down anyway. And I've also got Final Cut Pro on here. Look at that. Isn't that wonderful? That's where I build the movies that I put on YouTube. <clears throat> so in short, this is my This is my um, Affinity YouTube. Let's go to my my channel. Affinity Solution. And there we go. Look at that. Isn't that marvelous? <laughs> That's a little one minute. Don't forget to subscribe. That's what it's all about. Affinity Tutorials. On my channel Affinity Solution. And that's the address. At Robert Chalmers. Now, if you want to do something really neat and support the channel, simply go to my home channel there and go to the store. And there you go. There's my logo and it's available on those things. It's also available as cups and um, mugs. Oops. For some obscure reason, that's come up in French. Well, good luck. Visit the UK shop. There we go. I agree to everything. I'm a very agreeable person. All products. There we go. Look at that. Stickers, shirts. Somewhere in there there's a mug. Accessories. Mugs and... Whoops, it's gone. Accessories. Mugs and drinkware. There we go. Perfect. I want one myself. Anyway, back to the channel. Oops, we don't want to play it again, so let's stop that. Okay, guys, thanks very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little look at my um, platform here and all the marvellous things I can do on it. We'll see you in the next 
Affinity Solution video. And there we have uh, my iPad Mini. I'm mirroring the screen onto the M2. Now there's Affinity Designer, Live Docs, Preferences, Help. Let's have a look at the samples. There's all the samples in Affinity Designer on the iPad. Live Docs, that one there. And you can see the screen's a bit bigger than I can actually record. So I'll have another go at that in a moment. But there we go. Affinity, Affinity Photo. It's a little bit slower because it's mirroring the screen from the iPad Mini onto the main screen. And there's Publisher. Isn't that cute? Okay. Now, let me stop that. I can't show you the, the iPad Mini working without I go to the iPad Mini. And I'll do that in a separate... Um, in, the in the next part of this video.